Hello and welcome to This Old Geek. I'm Mike Esker and in this video I am showing how I am making a uh, rustic stone wishing well. This is part one, one of two videos. So I start by tearing this label off of this uh, empty container of oatmeal. And I put the lid back on and then I flip it over. So that's going to be my bottom. I measure uh, how high I want the the well. It's four inches from the bottom. I'm putting this rubber band so I can uh, mark the uh, circumference. I'm sure there's probably better ways to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. It'll be close enough. And I just cut all the way around. Then I'm marking and uh, cutting out strips of uh, corrugated cardboard. These are going to be for the, uh, the pillars, I guess you would call them, on the sides of uh, the well. And here I'm measuring where I want the uh, make the hole for the uh, shaft to go through. And then getting that cut out with my X-Acto knife. And after I get everything all cut out, I start gluing the pieces together. With uh, it's just simple craft glue. I hold the uh, pieces for a little bit until it's fairly stable to where I can let go. And one down, and another one to go. Now I'm measuring uh, the diameter of the top of the well there. So I can uh, see how uh, long I want to make a uh, cross beam that I'm going to join the two other beams together at the top. And I'm just using the same uh, process as I did with the other beams, only I don't need to cut a hole. It's just going to go right across the top. Now I'm marking the uh, halfway point of the diameter there, so I have a pretty good idea where I want to put the uh, the uh, pillars. And getting it all glued up. Glue on both sides. Put them together. Flip that rubber band around to hold them together so until the glue dries. So now I'm putting the uh, the cross beam, if you will, on top there. And there's how the shaft goes inside. Now I'm starting to uh, put the uh, rocks, if you will, on. I'm using Sculpey air dry clay. Not the polymer clay, but the air dry clay. Which means you don't have to bake it. It dries in the air. And it dries pretty solid. After I use all my Sculpey, I switch to this uh, kind. Nara, I believe it's called. Now this has a completely different texture and feel than uh, the uh, Sculpey air dry clay. It is cheaper. It feels kind of gummy. You see the difference there between the Nara and the Sculpey? It has more of a, it's more like a putty really. So I'm using this to uh, uh, separate the stones to 
enhance the stones because with the Nara, it, when it, as it was drying, it kind of almost kind of like mushed together a little bit. Now here I'm cutting out the, uh, the pillar here. I'm cutting this little uh, piece out and marking where I want to put a, uh, a stopper so it doesn't come out of the hole. The shaft doesn't come out of, uh, doesn't get pulled out of the hole. So I'm just using a toothpick and I'm sanding the each ends, drilling a hole into the shaft here. And then I just glue in the toothpick. And then I have to cut the toothpick down the size so it turns. And there we go. And that will keep it from pulling out all the way through. Now I'm marking where I'm going to cut the uh, shaft. And here I'm making a handle to go into the end of the shaft, the other end of the shaft. So you can turn it. And I'm sanding that after I cut it. And here I'm just drilling a hole. And it was just a close hanger wire that I cut and bent. And using super glue, I glue that in there. Then I glue that uh, panel that I cut out back in, close it off. It's going to be covered with uh, the stones anyway, and there we go. And after I did that, I realized that I did not finish it. I didn't stain or finish the shaft like I wanted to, which I should have done that before I did all that other stuff. So I had to cut another panel and pull it out. And I just wiped some stain on with a paper towel. And I'm sticking a paper towel down in there so I can paint it with some uh, polyurethane. Well, this is a water-based polyacrylic, I believe it's called. And when that's all done and dry, I just glue that panel back in that I cut out. And I continue to put the uh, stone, build it up, and this is the end of part one, to be continued in part two. I'd like to announce that I do now have a Patreon page. I will post the link below down in the description. If you care to make a donation, just a few dollars a month will help support the channel, and it will be greatly appreciated. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.